The texture operator within the texture projection has some interesting properties when interacting with your his your mesh history. So um, here we have a grid uh, with a texture projection on here. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, open up our texture our texture editor and change this view to textured uh, textured uh, display mode. So. <coughs> Uh, one of the interesting um, um, and normal behaviors that you'll have on a mesh that has UVs on it is when you move your points, you're going to see that your texture is going to stick, um, so to speak, on those points. Um, this has to do with the uh, UVs not really manipulating um, and kind of sticking in place um, when you manipulate your points. Uh, if we were to go ahead and have the texture operator or actually let's go ahead and just hover over this real quick you can see texture projection operator reading just above geometry so whenever you generate your texture projection the um, texture operator is going to evaluate or it's going to read um, just above the um, last um, the last operator in your modeling stack so the texture operator here is reading just above the geometry operator here. So if I were to go ahead and change uh, any of these numbers here, you're going you're gonna to see we're going to get kind of a, uh, a swimming effect where the texture isn't really sticking to any of the points and the reason this is happening is this um, isn't taking this uh, operator is after uh, the geometry operator. So if I were to undo this uh, and do, uh, let's see, a twist operator perhaps. So we can see this um, uh, more or less in action. So if we, um, again, if we hover over this texture operator here, it's reading just above the geometry. If I were to do a deformer, let's say a twist deformer, let's try this on our object in object mode, twist you can see that the texture um, went along and began to move with the object. So if I were to duplicate this here, just bring it over, so they both have their projection. And let's frame this, open up the active primitive clusters, bam, boom. So here we have our texture operator here. And if we hover over this object, we're going to see it's reading just above geometry. Now, if we look over here, we have our geometry. The texture operator is reading just above it, and the twist operator is happening afterwards. Now, if you remember what I did before, if I went to the geometry tab here and played around with my topology, so if I added subdivisions, or I mean, not add subdivisions, let me change the size. So as it changes size, you can see we're getting kind of the texture swim effect. So if I were to have this um, texture operator read after the twist op, we're going to get something similar where the twist operator is going to happen before the evaluation of the texture operator. So if I were to grab this guy and just bring it above here and hover my cursor over the texture op, it says texture projection operator reading just above twist operator. So um, if we select <coughs> If we select our object, you can see that we're getting that twisting or that swimming effect again here. So if we were to manipulate uh, this operator, you're going to see that the UVs really aren't sticking to the geometry. So in this instance, it doesn't look like it's a real desired behavior. So let's show you a useful example uh, where this may be um, a desired effect.